don't even know where my phone is, so that's uh, fine. I'm not sure either. It's dead. I'm What's sure. important is it ain't around. We're all together now. <laughs> Are we ready? Yes. Together. It's like I had my phone discreetly killed. <laughs> well, man, this is you ain't gonna see it no more. <laughs> Welcome back, by the way, to uh, phone assassinations. <laughs> and say hello to the helicopter thingy. Yeah. Backpack. We figured out what we're supposed to do now, because I don't think we knew what to do at the end of last episode. Can I get over there? Good question. You probably I don't, can't. I don't know if I want to go over there. Uh, wait, do we know what we're supposed to do now? I want to go up here. I have no idea. I mean, I know neither of us do, so I'm really more talking. Does Nate know what he's supposed to do now? <laughs> Actually, I don't really know. Well. Um, I know I'm supposed to go on that platform over there, but I'm just looking around now to see if there's anything else, or if it's just a big, empty world. A big, empty, sad world. Yeah. Well, there's a... I can already see people flying around in cars. Yeah, I, I, things in the background, but nothing tangible. Oh, so they just... They're mirages that disappear when you get near them. Yeah. It's sort of a statement what r human relationships what? are like. <laughs> Thank you. The closer you get to people, the more transparent they become. <laughs> Isn't that right, Ray? I'm glad. <laughs> Could you repeat the statement? I said, <laughs> seriously? <laughs> God damn it. We, we were talking about how the people in the background are all mirages. Mm -hmm. And, like, the closer you get to them... Because they're all in the background, so when you get... You can't actually get near them. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, it's like a symbol of, like, the human relationships. Oh, yeah. Like, the closer you get to people, the more transparent they become. You just have the illusion of nearness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why, if you just never trust anybody, you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Especially not background people driving cars. Yeah. I don't trust either of you. I don't trust NPC, if that's what you mean. It's not really a person. No. Trust no NPCs. I trust every person in re in the RL in yeah. real life. That's what uh, that's what that's what Biggie said. Just... Trust no NPC. <laughs> what is this thing? I, I don't know. I, don't I know. just killed it though. Got a bunch of those little things from it. Oh, I just died. You fucking idiot. Yeah, I am an idiot. You depress me. <laughs> all the way back to this part, eh? All the way back here now. Who left all these boxes stacked here? Yeah. Is this some kind of warehouse? A lot of warehouses in games. Yeah. Yeah. That's sort of a recurring thing. Is there- Earthworm Jim is like all warehouses. Are there just a lot of warehouses in the world and we don't realize it? Is yes. that just a, a I'm feature? Sure there's tons yes. of them, yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, we live near a warehouse right here. Think of all the, the ghost towns and abandoned cities that there are. They all have at least probably one warehouse in them. Yeah. That is just not used at all. Yeah. Except for like homeless people to shoot heroin and rats to breed. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason wa warehouses, abandoned warehouses exist in yeah. the first place. It's also a good place to hide. Oh, I love other seeing things. your butt, Mike. Yeah. You <laughs> <laughs> well, the volume needed to go down. Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. I can't hear that lovely tutorial lady's voice, oh, though, anymore. Oh, no. It's a horrible banshee. Lovely tutorial lady, huh? <laughs> oh, so you got something with her? Do you know her number? Have you told uh, her how you feel about her? I mean, she's probably dead now. How old is this game? Oh, uh, 2002? Yeah. You were around in 2002. You're not dead. Hey, you were yeah. 11. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, there were mines. You That's don't... right. I didn't see them. If only you were a more oh, skilled shit. player. Oh, shit, I didn't see that one either. <laughs> she sounded young enough to survive 13 years of aging. So, I'm sure yeah. she's still out there somewhere. Maybe. I mean, no, we'll never know now. She might be in one of the later games. Yeah, yeah who knows? I don't even want to go get that guy. Fuck him. I'm gonna go up the escalator. Are See you, you later. Are you supposed to get that guy? It doesn't matter. You're defeating the purpose <laughs> of the escalator if you just jump up it like stairs. <laughs> no, Save you're not. it, man. Let it take you up. <laughs> Escal e escalators Live are just more efficient stairs. Yeah, but you just seem stressed fighting all these robots. Just like <laughs> take a moment take to a pause moment. on the escalator. Relax for a minute. You're gonna hurt yourself. Hum a song that you like. <laughs> Maybe tap your fingers. <laughs> oh, I got on the train now. Well. Mm -hmm. Listen to whatever they're playing on the trains. Trains are relaxing. Yeah, man. <laughs> you just chill. Yeah. Maybe now you can chill. Maybe no, read a book. I, Sit it, down with some Agatha Christie. Haven't you ever watched Anastasia? Trains are not relaxing. Like, they, or I have snow to jump. Piercer. 
Yeah, or that, or that movie. That piece no of shit. shit. No, I love that movie. <laughs> Probably better Trains movie. Can't be trusted. That was the least relaxing train like ever. <laughs> relaxing. <laughs> relaxing. 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 <laughs> the least relaxing train. <laughs> <laughs> that train just kept lying to me and stringing me on <laughs> month after month. I don't need them games, train. <laughs> Man, no one needs games. What? As we play. As we. <laughs> we kind of do. Yeah, we sort of do or we don't exist. Oh, shit. Don't hit me anymore. I'm about to die. Oh. You died. He hit me. You did die. I wasn't paying hey, attention. Hey, you're on the train, though. That's great. That's okay. Hey, another cutscene. At least you're not back in that fucking warehouse. Yeah. For those of you who have never been on a train, don't let this turn you off. <laughs> it's not at all like this. No? Yeah, don't I didn't have to fight anything. The this whole is time not I indicative. Was on the train. Yeah. I myself have never been on a train. I've only been on monorails in my life. I've been on a monorail once. You, yeah, nice. once? Once. Only once. No, I, I I don't know how many times, but whenever I've been to Disney, whatever, there's a monorail there. Ah, uh, yes. But the, the in, fa- uh, famous. Don't we have a... Doesn't Detroit have some kind of monorail that no one uses? The, the people, people mover. The people yeah. mover. Yeah. And then the L in Chicago. Yeah, it's... Ba- <laughs> the people mover is basically... Okay, the people mover in Detroit is basically margin the monorail. Whoa, you guys, look <laughs> at this box. Yeah, it's just sort of there. It's just standing there. <laughs> By but, itself. Oops, but, but Nate, man. you know the episode of The Simpsons I'm talking about? He just fell off. Yeah, I remember hang on the one second. Wa- wa- watch this. Oh, uh, all of his stuff comes right na- back to me because I'm magnetic. <laughs> all right, yes. Well, no, just like, okay. Uh, what I don't remember what year it was, but whatever the year that they built the monorail, there was, or sorry, the people mover in Detroit. Yeah. The idea was like, oh, we're going to, you know, make it so much easier to commute and do all this stuff. People will use it all the time. Not taking into account that, like, Detroit is a fucking car city. Like, who, I don't know who, it, like where you are living if you watch this. Ugh, ugh, sorry. But if you're... <laughs> one thing about Detroit is that everybody owns a car. There's very few people in Detroit that don't own cars. It's sort of like... it's Like, if you're from New York or something, like, nobody owns a car, you know? But, like, yeah. in Detroit, like, it's, like, almost a rite of passage to know how to drive or whatever. So, like, having some sort of public transport... Just doesn't really sit well with a lot of Detroiters who have, you know, jobs in the auto industry. So basically, with, yes. that, with that in mind, we st- we've still built a fucking Shit. monorail system. It was literally like that Simpsons episode, Margin the Monorail, with like... God damn this guy. We got strung along by like a company or something. I, I wish I could remember more specific details. But yeah, I-, I always saw that episode once. Here we are now with a useless thing that like less than, like I think like... Five percent yeah. of their projected use, they thought. I myself have never used it, and when I walk around in Detroit, which I which I don't do super often, but every time I've been down there, I've never really seen a lot of people on it. Yeah, it's never. It's only ever really used when there's some sort of gigantic thing going on. Yeah, and like the Renaissance Center, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Renaissance Center is like the tallest building but, like, in Detroit. Like you use it to get to Greek Town. Yeah, that too. The occasional couple thinks it'd be cool to fuck in there. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, but st- that's still nothing like, you know, the L or Subways in New York. I would appreciate having that, though, for that reason. J- yeah, I mean, I'm not saying it's like this this huge embarrassment, because, I mean, it has its uses. Yeah. <laughs> but, so. Yeah, some Detroit history for you there. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever's fucking watching and doesn't already know that. So, whoever you may be, if you uh, weren't paying attention to uh, what just happened in the game here, I wasn't. Uh, <laughs> I was watching. I saw you doing the same thing and dying a few times. Uh, <laughs> fucking Drek is destroying another planet. Oh no! Basically. So you have to go destroy Drek, destroying a planet. Well, I don't. I have to go to another planet. Yes. What if, in your effort to finally destroy Drek, you accidentally destroy the planet? In the process. Ooh. <coughs> Did we yes. just talk about the happening Drek in Revenge of, of Cooler? Yeah. <laughs> we just talked about that happening at the end of Revenge of Fucking Cooler. God yeah, damn it. But not on the air. <laughs> not on the air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, boy, did you not want to admit that we watched that? <laughs> no, man. If anything, that makes us look like fucking idiots. Hey, I got a blaster. Is that a real gun? It's a real gun. Yay. It has targeting, too. Oops. Oh, boy. It's like Earthworm Jim all over again. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, uh, man. Tonic Trouble had something like that, too. It was awful. 
more. I think like, it has lock on, auto lock on targeting though. Well, maybe you should find the target and find it out. Maybe. Can you just shoot it without aiming though? I th don't know. You can't? I don't think so. Are you serious? What a piece of shit. How do uh, you do that? Oh, oh there, you, there go. you go. I was gonna say, there's gotta be a button that doesn't. This game is all about shooting things. Yeah. I'm gonna enter ship. Well, good thing we have a gun now. Enter not just the ship. Bomb yeah. glove. Would it be that much harder to put the in? It's always like, open door, enter ship. Never well, open the door. Articles aren't always necessary, though. I like them. Not really. I don't like them. No, I like them sometimes. <laughs> I like them at the beginning of things. I don't like them in the middle of things, like Winnie the Pooh. I like them beginning things. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not saying they're not. They don't have their uses. <laughs> me say. Yeah. No, that's not even articles. That's just, <laughs> that's just the wrong case. <laughs> yeah. What are you even doing now? <laughs> me, I don't know. Next time on Pals Inc., me attack. Robot. Me, robot, I guess. <laughs>